Good morning, students. I am Dr. P. Minloshini, and I am going to give the overview of the subject electromagnetic fields. In electromagnetic fields, Unit One deals with coordinate systems. There are three coordinate system: rectangular coordinate system, otherwise Cartesian coordinate system, and the second one is cylindrical coordinate system, and the third one is spherical coordinate system. And we are going to see about divergence theorem and Stokes theorem in Unit One. And in the second unit, we are going to deal with electrostatics. And the third unit, we are going to deal with magnetostatics. And in the fourth unit, we are going to study about electrodynamic fields. And in the fifth unit, we are going to study about wave equations. Okay. So before getting into the subject, we want to know the importance of the subject. Why we are studying this subject? So for this electromagnetic fields, it is very important to understand the three-dimensional understanding of electricity and magnetism. We want to know about electromagnetic fields, and it is the backbone of both the AAA department and the ECE department. Because in AAA department, we are going to study about generators, transformers, and all those things. For these electric generators and electric transformers, we want to know about the fields. The electric fields and magnetic fields, how the devices are working, and an easy also they are going to study about the satellite communication and all communications. These wave equations are very very important. So particularly this electromagnetic fields and electromagnetic field theory subject is very important. It have many applications in different side also. And in a competitive exams also they will ask many questions in this electromagnetic fields. So come let us move to the topic. First, electrostatics. So, what does it mean by electrostatics? In electrostatics, what we are going to study about? So, see here in electrostatics, we are going to study about certain parameters. They are electric field intensity E vector and electric flux psi, electric flux density G vector, and what is the relation between D vector? And E vector. And what is the energy storing element in electrostatics? It is nothing but capacitor. And one recommendation I am giving for you, my dear students, while studying these electrostatics and magnetostatics, you want to compare and study. See here, electrostatics, and see here, I am writing about magnetostatics. You want to compare and study because unit two deals with electrostatics and unit. Three deals with magnetostatics. If you compare and study these two units, means it will be very easy to understand these two topics: electrostatics and magnetostatics. The parameters we are going to see in electrostatics are electric field intensity. What is intensity? If a charge is there, and if you are moving, see here I am drawing a charge. If a charge is there, it is a positive charge, and if you are moving nearer to the charge means if you are moving nearer to the charge means what will be the strength of the charge yeah we feel some force from the charge yes that is nothing but electric field intensity similar to that if you are moving apart from the charge if you are moving very uh, longer distance from the charge means what will be the force there yeah you can't able to realize you can't able to uh, realize the force at the point where you are nearer to the charge so when you are moving closer to the charge the strength will be very strong when you moving apart from the charge the force you are experiencing might be very little otherwise slighter so force experienced per unit charge is nothing but electric field intensity so i can write e is equal to f by q how i can write e is equal to F by E is equal to sorry is equal to F divided by Q. So what is the unit of force? We all know Newton. So Newton per and what is the unit of charge? Coulomb. So the unit of electric field intensity is nothing but Newton. 
Pakkulum. In other words, we can also say it as volt per meter because how much distance you are experiencing that voltage. So, volt per meter. Okay. So, electrostatics deals with voltage and magnetostatics deals with current. Okay. So, see here. Come here to the magnetostatics. So, in magnetostatics, magnetic field intensity is there. There is nothing but H. Okay, so if you are nearer to the magnet means, see here in PPT I am explaining that. So if you are nearer to this magnet means you will experience some force. There is nothing but magnetic force. And if you are moving away from the magnet, the strength of the magnetivity is getting reduced. Okay, so that is nothing but magnetic field intensity. So come here. It is nothing but magnetic field intensity H vector. There we express in electrostatics how we write the unit volt per meter. So similar to that voltage in magnetostatics we deals with current. So what is the unit of current? Ampere. So instead of writing volt per meter here I am choosing ampere per meter. This is unit of magnetic field intensity. In other words I can also express force experienced by the charge instead of charge i'm writing the magnet okay so the unit the unit we can write is also newton per weber so again coming here to electrostatics the electric flux is very important point what does it mean by electric flux it is nothing but the lines emanating from the charge okay in gauss law we can also say psi is equal to q the electric flux is nothing but electric charge psi is equal to q this is gauss law for electric field so the unit of charge is coulomb similar to that the unit of flux that is psi electric flux is also coulomb then how we express magnetic flux? It is phi. We express magnetic flux as phi. Unit of it is Weber. Thank you students. Electric flux is psi. Whereas magnetic flux is phi. See here. The unit of electric flux is coulomb. Because psi is equal to Q. Q is nothing but charge. Psi is electric flux. Both are same. So the unit of electric flux is coulomb and the unit of magnetic flux is weber see here magnetic flux phi the unit of magnetic flux is weber so next we are going to see about electric flux density and magnetic flux density electric flux density we denote it as d vector flux per unit area is nothing but flux density similar to that current density is also there what is current density current per unit area what is charge density? Charge per unit area. So see here, electric flux density d vector is equal to flux per area. Here flux density, so only I am writing flux per area. Current density means you want to write current per area. Charge density means you want to write car, uh, charge per area. Here flux density, so only I am writing flux per area. So what is the unit of this flux density? We know the unit of flux. What it is? Coulomb. Okay, then coulomb per Per, what is the unit of area? Meter squared. So, coulomb per meter squared is the unit of electric flux density. So, come to magnetostatics. In magnetostatics, what is the flux density there? Magnetic flux density. That is B vector. So, magnetic flux per area. What is magnetic flux? It is phi. And what is the unit of magnetic flux? Weber. So, what is the unit of magnetic flux density? Weber per meter squared. This is the unit of magnetic flux density. Please note down. We can also call Weber per meter squared as Tesla. In a single word, we can also say magnetic flux density unit is Tesla. Okay. Then we are going to see the relation between intensity and density in both electrostatics and magnetostatics. In electrostatics, the relation between D vector and E vector is D vector is equal to epsilon E vector. Density is equal to permittivity into intensity. Okay, density, electric flux density is equal to permittivity into field intensity. D is equal to epsilon E. See here, this epsilon is also like E. So, please memorize like that. Okay, epsilon E come in one side, D comes in another side. 
d is equal to epsilon e epsilon is what permittivity absolute permittivity epsilon is equal to epsilon not epsilon or epsilon or is relative permittivity epsilon not is permittivity in free space if i am writing if i am writing for free space i can write d vector is equal to epsilon not e vector because relative permittivity is one for free space then what is the value of epsilon not epsilon not is equal to 8.854 into 10 power minus 12 farad per meter here i will say why i am using this unit farad per meter okay i'm see uh, i tell you later come here down to magnetostatics what is the relation between b and h b is watt magnetic flux density Flux density is equal to permeability into magnetic field intensity. B is equal to mu h. Mu is equal to absolute permeability. Mu naught is permeability in free space. Mu r is relative permeability. For free space, here mu no mu r value is 1 for free space. Then for free space, how can I write that relation between b and h? b vector is equal to mu naught h vector and the value of mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 henry per meter. Come here. I am um, now I am going to tell you what is the storage element for electrostatics and what is the storage element for magnetostatics. Here in electrostatics, we are going to study about capacitor. And here in magnetostatics, we are going to study about inductor because we know both capacitor and inductor both are energy storing elements but in which domain they are going to store the energy might differ because capacitor stores the energy in electric field and inductor stores the energy in magnetic field. So see here capacitor means I will see the voltage. There are two parallel plates. Between the pla plates, we see the voltage. Positive charge and negative charge. This plate consists of positive charge. This plate consists of negative charge. So, between these two plates, what is the potential? And between these two plates, which LM, which uh, I am going to use as the insulator, which I am going to uh, isolate these plates. That is we can use air as a insulator otherwise mica otherwise polyvinyl chloride or some material we are going to uh, use for insulation purpose okay so so only here the unit of capacitor is what we all know farad see here the unit of this epsilon naught permittivity is farad per meter okay capacitor unit is farad farad per meter come here to magnetostatics in magnetostatics what is the unit of this uh, uh, mu that is permeability henry per meter henry is what unit of inductor yes so here in inductor uh, this is also storage element when i am passing current through a coil it becomes a magnet so this third unit deals with fully current it deals with the energy storing element element as inductor that's all okay so the energy storing element in magnetostatics is inductor because coil we will send current means it becomes as magnet okay so the inductor l is equal to n phi divided by i and the c capacitor c we can express as epsilon a divided by d distance between these two plates and a is the area of cross-sectional area of this plates epsilon is nothing but permittivity and coming to magnetostatics we deals with permeability mu the unit of inductor is henry l is equal to n phi divided by i n is number of turns number of turns in the coil number of turns phi is nothing but magnetic flux and the current i we are passing through this coil i okay the unit of inductor is henry the unit of capac capacitor is farad okay so that's all about electrostatics and magnetostatics please compare and study and it will be very easy for you to understand both electrostatics as well as magnetostatics see you in next class bye